Greetings, this is Father Michael with our Word of the Week. Well, this week's word is exercise. Today, we celebrate the feast of our Blessed Mother on the occasion of New Year. So, Happy New Year, Happy 2023 uh, to all those uh, who subscribe and who connect uh, with St. Dominic's and particularly uh, who are devoted to this uh, little reflection the word of the week. It's interesting, New Year's is often associated with, in a secular way, making resolutions, mm, things in our lives that we want to change or develop better habits in. And I was interested in this past year, 2022, the number one resolution of almost half of everyone who made resolutions was to get more exercise, to get moving. The Lord has given us physical bodies and you either use it or in a sense, you lose it. <laughs> Capacity is always, always looking for engagement in that way. So just as if you want stronger muscles, healthier body, uh, better ability for energy, we have to use our bodies, we have to engage in exercise. So too, in our spiritual life, we need to exercise our spiritual muscles. And this means times of prayer, times of reflection, opening our mind and our heart to commune with, to connect with our loving God. If we look to the gospel, we see this image of not only the birth of Christ, but the Blessed Mother's reaction to it. She indeed is visited by the shepherds, the wise men for next week, and at every point, she takes the occasion to do what? To reflect, to ponder, to contemplate on what's just happened to her as a way of seeing how God wants to talk with her and interact in our lives. So perhaps before we jump into new resolutions of exercise or eating a certain way or organizing our lives, we might take a moment to, like Mary, reflect on the past year to name those ways in which we are grateful to God with the blessings of our lives, to be able to name where it was that God's activity was there, to be honest with ourselves and estimating where we perhaps missed the mark, but always, always looking forward to ask God to be present in our lives. This new year, 20. 23. Perhaps seems daunting, perhaps seems like the clouds and the forces of darkness and evil might simply overwhelm us. There's lots of reasons why we might complain or be concerned or be anxious. And yet our Blessed Mother teaches us that on reflection, in prayer, through contemplation, we can what? Grow in that sense of God's grace, awareness of His presence, and gratitude for the blessings we receive. No doubt, as a mother, she could have been concerned about where she was going to raise Jesus, how they were going to find their next meal, where they would simply have a roof over their head. And yet, through contemplation and prayer, she was able to move forward to be the mother she was called to be. So too for us, as we enter into this new year, may you be richly blessed. May you take the time to exercise at the spiritual muscles of contemplation and prayer. And that first reading gives us a beautiful blessing for this new year, so receive it with the fullness of God's grace and heart. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his countenance toward you and give you peace and the joy of this new year. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.